Stop asking me! Get up! Come on, get up! It's my private business, Julie. It's my private business! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, would you get up? It's okay. It's okay. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Come here. Come on. I love you. I love you. I'm so sorry. Shh. shh, shh, shh. It's okay. It's okay, sweetie. I'm so sorry. Julie. Going somewhere? You have to tell me. Come with Dr. me. Dr. Butler, she's a... Come with me. No, no Come I want me. Dr. Butler. Come. I want Dr. Let's go into you. Hi, Dr. Butler. Hi. You giving Nurse Lanningham a hard time? No, I wasn't. Okay. I'll take it from here, Alice. Thanks. Thank you. Mickey, listen. I got you something, but you can't tell anyone else, okay? Here. Take this before they catch you. Keep it secret. You'll be fine. Julie. There you are. We have a new patient. Transfer from Cedar Junction Corrections came in early this morning. His name is William Crest. He's the serial arsonist responsible for that elementary school fire up in Santa Barbara last fall, killed the janitor. Can we really take on another patient right now, though? An arsonist? Is yes, I know. Like... Fuck, he's here. I can't control that. If you really want to do it, well, what if he I just... I don't know. God, uh, we have to treat him. I want you... Can you do that, please? I want you to evaluate him, but honestly, I just want him kept quiet. Uh, I can talk to him. Look, why don't we go out tonight, okay? Just the two of us? Well, we'll go to um, Gringo's Tacos or whatever. Tico. <laughs> Tico's tacos. Zaman Tico's? Tico's tacos. Tacos locos. How are you today, William? You had any problems since you've been here? Oh, I'm good. I'm hopped up on benzos. Or is it hopped down? Uh, that's the Ativan. It'll wear off soon. Is that what you're on? 
You look tired too. Problems at home. I have to tell you, Mr. Crest, you have a pretty interesting case file. Are you aware that you killed a man? The night janitor. It was an accident. The school was supposed to be empty. So how does it make you feel knowing that you killed someone? To burn like that? To feel the fire on your skin? To feel alive? I envy him. I could show you sometime. How does it make you feel to light a fire? A fire is something perfect, something beautiful, bright, hot, shapeless, wild. When it crackles, it changes you when you see it. I'm also scared of it. I know this means a lot to you, Eric. It means a lot to you, too. If I can get these contracts and deals signed, it means our finances will be settled. It's a big risk, Eric. Embezzlement from the hospital, kickbacks from the drug companies, and... You know, you're willing to just... I'm willing to do what I need to for our future. I'm sorry, but this is the way it is. See you at work. Did you ever try to leave? Not at first, not for a long time. It always starts off good, right? My father started taking all of his unhappiness, his control, his anger out on me. I was like his stress ball. So what did you do? What was I supposed to do? I loved him. I was scared to leave. One day when it was dark, all I had was a lighter to see. So you burned your home? The only way out for me was to find a way to destroy the, the prison that he kept me in. Did you kill him? The first fire you set's always the prettiest. It changes you. It's the only thing that can set me free. our buddy, Mr. Crest. He's an acute pyromania. <laughs> I could have told you that. Well, you asked for my diagnosis, and that's it. It gives him pleasure. He has no agenda. It's just the way to set himself free. That's romantic. Yeah. It's... Well, I don't know. It's a way out. He's in a lot of pain. I, I think he needs it. What's your treatment? Continued behavioral therapy, for one. A course of 20 milligrams of Topamax twice a day. But continued behavioral therapy, Eric. I really think we can help him. He can get better. We'll see. 
What do you mean, we'll see? We'll see. Hey, do not lose sight of the fact that this guy is a murderer. I haven't, Eric. Good. Thanks for your opinion. I'll handle it. You're, you're not the only one that can start a fire. This kind of behavior is unacceptable. You want to spend the rest of your life behind bars? That's your choice. I'm not afraid of you. Well, you should be. Eric, stop it. Let me talk to him. Mark, can you just take him to my office, please? Bye-bye. I think you need help. We both know there's only one way You can't just drug everyone. He's a seriously sick patient. He needs therapy. You just drown the slightest hint of life out of all these patients. How can we expect them to get better? I don't really care at this point. I'm your boss. Do what I say. It's easier, isn't it, to keep everyone sedated and quiet while you benefit from all your little deals? I will write the report for the state. William is my case now. Today's the day we sign. 
when Mr. Uh, Mr. Stansfield sees everything working smoothly, everyone happy, and signs off, I'll be home free. I'll be safe and secure. And now that William is fully sedated, there will be no more of this. Understand? think you're doing? This will tell you everything you need to know. Thank you. 